good Thursday evening, everybody. Welcome to the Dirt Racing Network, a part of the Digital Sim Sports Network and our live coverage. For the SimRapMarket.com, Mighty Midget Series, round number two, Lincoln Speedway. Drivers ready to get after it tonight. 14 of them in attendance. Couple of shows for you. They'll do the first one. Uh, random draw for the heat. And then we will get through the heat races. They'll have a redraw for the feature. And we will get after it for 35 laps in the feature. Take a quick pause. We won't even break the network. We will keep streaming. We'll play some music in between. We'll move to session number two. Qualifying. Top six get locked in. Everybody else will run to the LCQ for their final starting spot in the 30 lap, 35 lap feature. And then we'll get right to the racing A Couple of quick shows for you tonight. Should be a good one. 2024 B season had a sweep. And I'll tell you what, I do not see that driver. So I don't know that he's gonna be going for three in a row tonight. I see he shows up here in the next, oh, 60 seconds. Maybe 90. I don't think he is going to, uh, yep, he's not going to make it. This is the no Q session. So uh, no three peats tonight, but let's take a look quickly at our starting lineup for heat number one. It's going to be the double zero of Don Runkle Jr. on the pole. The 13 of Wayne Anelski will be to his outside. He'll have David Krikorian, the 66, on the inside of the second row, and he'll have the 37 of Austin Motley. To his outside, and then the Kiwi Conqueror Series defending champion in the seven on the inside of that third row, right next to Brendan Rogers. Oh, wait a minute. Well, it looks like the 20 car is here. I did not see his name in the list, but Brendan Rogers is here, so he may be going for three in a row tonight. And then the six of Josh Cox will start out back of this one. I do not see Krikorian in the grid at the moment. Quick look at what we're looking at here. We don't have a track map for Lincoln, uh, but it is. Just over three tenths of a mile. Uh, we have 72 degrees today, 59% humidity. It is overcast, so a little cloudy. Should keep the moisture in the track for us. That wind, however, may dry out uh, one end or the other here. And then uh, our track temp, 62 degrees. So should be this one. Pace truck already looking to get out the way. Don Runkel bring us down here to turns three and four, and he will be getting us started. Looks like all the drivers did make it out. Gregorian at the last second did pop green into the green. Flag, green flag. The green flag is in the air, and we are racing. <laughs> Through one and two for the first time. You can see kind of a sideways move there. Runkel got the car a little out of shape. He may give up the spot to Agnelski. Down here, three and four, and Wayne Agnelski all the way to the outside allows David Gregorian. The squeak by on the bottom, and he takes lap number one in heat number one. Get back close in front because Craig Sylvie is already up here battling for second. He is right and next to Anelski Rogers. Looking for a way to thread the needle. Can he push the 20 car between the 7 and the 13 and take spots? Right now, he's going to try to work the inside. He's got the third spot away from Anelski. Still be closing in at the core of Brennan Rogers. Going for three in a row. He can win the first feature tonight. He swept, and that's the first time in 14 races, 14 racing nights, that somebody swept at the Mighty Midgets. So, that broke the string and put, uh, put a name, put a target on a name for sure. Everybody wants to beat the 20 right now. We're coming around. We're going to be down to three to go when we get out of turns three and four down here. Corey still hanging on to the lead, took it at the end of lap one and has not relinquished it. I thought Sylvie would go up there and give him more of a challenge, but he has not. Rogers third, Anelski fourth, Motley's right there trying to take that away. And then Cox and Uncle are back here battling for fifth and sixth. Or sixth and seventh, excuse me. We are down to two to go. Very 
Dorian looks like he is going to be back on track for having some uh, speed and what looks to be some consistency right now. Oh, big drive into the bottom of the corner. Here comes Sylvie. The door was left open. As soon as I say something about it, Krikorian makes a mistake, and Sylvie capitalizes under the white flag. One more time around. And the Kiwi Conqueror baited and waited, took his shot when the door opened, and he'll win heat one. Krikorian second, Rogers with third, and Nelski in fourth. Motley. Cox and her uncle rounding things out. So, Kiwi Conquer found a way to get around and pick up the win. We'll get ready to move on to heat number two. This is how we're going to start them out. 71. Josh Gerlach will start on the pole. And he'll have the 93 of Reed Brochart to his outside. Bobby Yonke in the 28 inside row number two. Next to him, the 81 of Mike Gepper in your third row. 98, Brett Wagner inside, and Bo Brannon, always a contender. Every single time he hits the track, he drives the 49 car, he starts outside row number three. And in the back, our very own Garrett Boyd in the 21, sporting all that purple and gold. The DSSA logos DSRL, he's got a bunch of gold. Josh Gerlach, the net code eSports, number 71. Let's get us started. Green flag, green flag. On the throttle, and it looks like Gerlach's going to get a perfect start out of this. Donkey's going to come through to second. Now it's a battle for third. I don't know if that's going to materialize. That wheel down here in three and four. Wagoner had the bottom. Here comes Bo Brandon. Tried to split between cars. They're three wide up the back stretch. Boyd was on the bottom. Brandon went to the top. Now Brandon gets past both Boyd and Gebhard. He'll get on the attack looking after that force by trying to get away from Brett Wagner. He got a battle for the lead. Bobby Duncan going to move around the inside, try to take the lead away from Gerlach, and he's got it going down the back stretch. Move Gerlach back to second. Brochart still third. Wagoner is still fourth. That may be a three wide battle down the front stretch. Brochart was on the top. Wagoner was in the middle. Brandon went to the bottom. Brandon with a slide job gets a tap from behind. She broke all the momentum and that hurt Wagoner more than it hurt Brandon. Three way battle for the lead. Brochart all the way to the outside right up against the fluff. Trying to find some grip. He's given up ground to the 49 of Brandon. Brandon on a charge to the front. Gerlach goes back past Yonke. They're side by side at the line. We'll see if they're still bite off the bottom down the back stretch here. It looks like Gerlach is going to have the advantage. We're going to check something here, folks, between races. Because we're missing a bunch of uh, camera angles today. Right now, Brandon getting past Yonke. Coming around, we are going to have a one-to-go signal. The white flag. Oh, Tebow into the inside wall. That cost him big time. Yonke goes back by. Brochart goes by. Brandon gets in line right in front of Boyd. But Gerlach looks like he is going to pick up the win. In heat two, Yonke second. Brochard, no, out of shape. Brandon goes by. Boyd goes by. Everybody goes by as he catches Wagner. Wagner gets to the line in front of Gebhardt. Brochard is going to be the final car. Let me take a look at something real quick. Huh. Give these guys a couple of minutes here. Bear with me, folks. I'm trying to figure something out because we used to have a camera pack for this. And now. Well, we're going to get ready for the feature. These guys are going to have a couple of minutes here. We're going to get a message. 
from race control momentarily. I promise. About how long they're going to get them in the warm-up session. Hopefully it's a little bit. I'd really like to see this track get widened out for this feature. Brandon Boyd right there. Brandon Rogers. Quickly. Top of the chart. Greg Sylvie is right there. And I don't think Sylvie's put a time lap there. Yeah, he has. He was sixth quick. He is trying to find something way, way, way out top. Guys, don't be afraid to say hi in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know who you're out here watching. If you're on the Facebook page. Like, share, and talk. You're on YouTube, Twitch, and Trovo. We're debating on whether the TikTok thing is going to be something viable for us or not. I seriously doubt it. Well, Brandon, moving up to second quick in this little warm-up session here before we do feature racing. Seconds and they're going to get going with this thing. Not a ton of time. Several drivers electing not to even go out and take laps right now. There's Mike Gebert, that white capital securities machine. Just wait. For them to clear the track, and we'll start getting them lined up for the feature. There we go. Got some Anelski fans in the chat. Right there behind Mike Gubber right now on track. Thirty-five lap feature coming up for session number one. Don't go anywhere when that's over. We'll take a couple of minutes. We'll swap sessions as soon as we get done with interviews. And then you'll see a little different show. Mildly different. They actually qualify. They lock some guys in, then everybody else races for their final spot, and then we do a 35 left feature. It's uh, about the same time frame, but it uh, is a different type of show, and it's a lot of fun. These guys really like it. Looks like we have advanced, and we are getting ready to go. So we'll get ready with the starting lineup for tonight's aim, and then we know that's going to swap up a little bit. Not sure how far back the draw went, but Sylvie and Greylock are scheduled to be on the front row. Corin and Yonke in row two. Rogers and Brandon in row three. Anelski and Boyd row four. Behind that, I think from row five on, we are good. So it'll be Austin Motley and Mike Gebhardt, the 37 and 81 cars in that fifth row. And then the six of Josh Cox and the 98 of Brett Wagner in row number six. Behind them in the final row, Runkle in the double zero. Brochart in the 93. Once they roll off, I think the front of this field He's probably going to shuffle up just a little bit. Which is usually what happens. So Bobby Yonke looks like he is headed for the point. We'll see who joins the outside. Hot shoe going to the back. That's going to be the 20 of Brendan Rogers. He is going to go for three in a row. He is going to do it from the outhouse, basically. He's going to do it from way back. And we are still trying to get these guys squared away. Yonke, Sylvie, Krikorian, Gerlach, Nelski, Brandon, Boyd. And then everybody kind of back where I thought they would be. With Motley and Gephardt in. 
8 and 9 so Aaron Rodgers Via the hot shoe, he will start P14. He'll have 35 laps. He's going to make the three in a row dream come true. We're going to pace around for another lap here. They'll start doubling us up here pretty quickly once we know where everybody's for sure going to be. But Yonke and Sylvie look to be the front row. Kokorian and Gerlach in row two. Anelski and Brandon row three. Boyd and Motley row four. And then we start in row five exactly like it was with Gebert Cox. That is what happens when you come in and you uh, win both races on opening night and your first ever appearance with the Mighty Midget. So you're going you're gonna to get hot chewing. You're going to go to the back, and now you're going to have to work 35 laps around this place. We're getting them doubled up. We're getting ready to go to the green. SimRapMarket.com, Mighty Midget Series, round number two. Lincoln Speedway. Awesome Thursday night, getting ready to go green. Just waiting for Yonke. Find the loud pedal. He does so. We're officially underway. Let's see how they sort this out here. Woo, a little bit uh, widey wide there. Huh? Is that a Nelson? No, it wasn't a Nelson. That's Cox. He got a little wide and almost got into him. They have got a train going down on the bottom. They're bumping and grinding. Motley moved to Brandon. Got him out of the way. Three wide in turn two. Cox was in the middle. Here comes Brandon Rogers, already up four spots from his 14th starting position. I think we saw a little uh, payback right there as Brandon and Motley got together again. Only this time it was the reverse. Bo Brandon get a little uh, pushy to push to Motley. Motley having problems. He got the front end up, had to lift off the throttle, got out of the way, let a couple cars get by him. And he is falling back good, but he's already 10th. Brennan Rogers now up to eighth. And we are barely five laps into this thing, and he's halfway through the field already. So Yonke's out front. Gerlach and Silby battling for second. It's a three-car battle. Gregorian, Anelski, and Brandon. For the four spot, great racing going on right now. And uh, Rogers is trying to put his hat in that battle. Well, Brandon is like, man, I don't want that guy up here. He's good. I need to go, go, go. And he's kind of hired that one side by side. But, uh, Rogers up to the sixth spot already. Now the sledding will get just a little tougher as we got a battle for the lead. The Kiwi Conqueror Silby couldn't keep the front wheels down or he had a shot at taking the lead from Yonke. Now Brandon and Rogers almost had contact down there in turn two and Rogers backed off to keep himself in the sixth spot. Silby got on that uh, burn and got himself off camera and slid out just a little bit. Opens the door to let Bo Brandon get there. Brandon just needs that slip. He wants to cut low on the exit. A little pushing, a little bumping, a little grinding. The Corian now is going to go around Bo Brandon. And this is what Bo Brandon is looking at. There goes Brandon Rogers down to the bottom. He'll get around him. Out of turn four, move Rogers up to the fifth spot. Gonna run out of two, four. Bo Brandon, he, they are right. The top six. This is the top six. You're riding along with the sixth place car, Bo Brandon, right now. And they are all over one another. Gerlach's going to go for the lead up here. He's got it out of four. Yonke, not quite enough momentum. And Sylvie's going to battle for second. Brennan Rodgers now up to the fourth spot, fifth spot, fourth spot this time down the back stretch. We are not halfway. He started 14th, and he is up here already looking at a podium spot. I don't think he's done. I think he's going to go after Yonke and after Sylvie. As soon as he gets clear of them, Josh Gerlach needs to be long gone, or he'll have uh, a lot of company. Now 
little more orderly, a little more single foul as we get down to the corners and Sylvie's gonna work his way up the bottom. Out of four, past the flag stand, Craig Sylvie finally finds his way to the point. Sylvie Gerlach, Rogers now up to third, still coming. He just crossed over halfway, 15 laps remaining. Brandon Rogers, well, he got in there. He is going to get into it. Caution this time around. And Brandon Rogers. And we will go take a look at Rogers. He's going to get into Sylvie down here in one two. Sylvie arced it in a little bit. Rogers had a good run. Got down there, the door closed up. And then he gets a tap from Bobby Johnson. Both drivers they able to spin the cars around. They're going to get them going again. See who ends up where. Reed Brochard took his machine to the infield pretty early. So the Yankees going back. And Rogers is going to get to hang on to second. After that big spin. Wow. Good break for him. They put that Yankee there, I guess. See the chatter coming in. Yeah, you know, he's uh, been forward and backward right now. He's still doing the same stuff he was doing last season. As we go, or last season, as we go back to Green and Sylvie with the start, Rogers going to go wide, going to get a run down the hill out of two, just not enough to close the gap right now. And Sylvie's going to stay locked in on the bottom. Brandon Rogers going for three feature wins in a row in the series. And caution once again, did Brett Wagner crash? 98 car, that's the green and black car here. That's Motley, oh yeah, he and Motley touch and he is gonna take a serious tumble. So not too good for Brett Wagoner. But Sylvie Rogers, Gerlacher, Corey, and Brandon, and Nelsky Boyd, Motley, Cox, Gephardt, Yonke, and Runkle still on track, all on the lead lap. We will have 13, 12 laps to go when we take the green. All right, pace trucks out of the way. We're going back to the green. Going to finish this thing up here. 12 laps remaining. Can Silby break through and get a win early in the season? Will Rogers get his third in a row? Or can Gerlach get up here and snatch it from both drivers? They get back to green. It looks like Gerlach, I thought, was going to use the cut down line and maybe get a run. Now, Looks like he is just trying to hang on as Sylvie and Rogers start to inch away. Corian is way up wide, and uh, Bo Brennan did a nice little slider line, but it gained him absolutely no ground on the guys in the front. Brennan Rogers had an opening, tried to go for it. Sylvie shut the door. We're down to 10 to go. Everybody very close right here. Corian. Still trying to get after Gerlach for the podium spot. Sylvie trying to be perfect. You know, Rogers will not make very many mistakes. Sylvie is trying to uh, be perfect and drive away from the 20 car. Gerlach went for the slider. That's going to check cars up. Bo Brandon. And that's uh, Brandon got into Krikorian because Krikorian checked up for who went for the slider He's just going to get into the left rear tire down here in turn three. And right there, you can see Krikorian had to check up. And Brandon just didn't get checked up enough. He gets tagged by Motley, but he's going to be able to continue. So a couple of quick laps, and then we get a caution. We're starting to get a little yellow fever here late in this one.
Sylvie Rogers, Gerlach Krikorian, Anelski, Boyd, Motley, Cox, Yonke, Gephardt, and then Runkle and Brandon. As Bo Brandon is going to be moved all the way to the back for uh, stopping and spinning out there on the track. So, restart coming. Pretty good start for Sylvie. Got the bottom kind of open. Now he goes down to shut that door. Rogers tried to get the car in between the fence and Sylvie anyway, and now it's going to open things up. Here's a battle for second as Gerlach was alongside, and that will be short-lived. Josh Cox looks like he has had a crash in the sixth car. He and Motley going to get together, and that's probably who we should have followed. Oh, there's Motley's car. Yeah, we might want to go on and see if that's a little different from Motley's perspective. He had the flasher in there behind him. He kind of got it out of shape on his own. Yeah, and he and Cox just ended up getting locked together because Cox is going to be in out. So. Thought we were going to see a change for second. Rogers was in a heated battle with Gerlach. So we'll have seven to go this time when we come down into turns three and four. We'll get the green flag. And Josh Cox is still there, but he is still blinking like nobody's business. He's gone more than he's on the track, it looks like. Good start for Sylvie. He and Rogers squared away just ever so slightly from Gerlach, Kaporian, and company. Going to be six to go this time. Sylvie's keeping her locked in on the bottom. Rogers trying to hang in there. Wants to go for three in a row. Five laps to go. The wave lap being shown to the drivers. Full hand extended. All five fingers sticking out. It is time to go. If you don't go now, you're not going to get the chance in a couple of minutes because it's going to be all over. Watching our two leaders. Sylvie trying to be perfect. Knows if he makes a mistake, Rogers will capitalize in a good run down the back stretch for Rogers. Sylvie trying to keep him from getting to the inside. Didn't want him to have a big run around the outside either. He did a pretty good job keeping that line covered. Rogers has found something right here. The car really sets and launches, and now there's nothing Sylvie can do. Rogers flies by him, coming to two to go down the back stretch. Brandon Rogers now in the lead, two to go for three in a row. Sylvie trying to get back to him, needs to get close, and maybe the desperation slider. A smell, big mistake. And Sylvie got into the fence trying to get around. That's going to change everything. Rogers has the lead. Gerlach now to the top. Krikorian up to third. Anelski's fourth. White flag in the air. One more time through three and four. Does Gerlach have anything for Rogers? And it don't look like it. Brandon Rogers is going to go three for three to start the season. Gerlach second. Krikorian third. Anelski and Boyd making up your top five. So Rogers made the mistake when Sylvie went for it. Rogers tried to close the door. Sylvie saw it, reacted, hit the fence. And that really shook some things up. You had to be perfect. I mean, you absolutely had to be perfect. And all the drivers making some mistakes. All right, we're in Rogers is in chat. Josh Gerlach is in chat and David Gregorian. We'll bring him straight to the booth. He has been good over about the last season and a half and he gets on the podium to start things off in round number two tonight. David Gregorian, pretty good run. Oh, I got to grab the wrong guy. They moved around on me. Sorry, Brett. David Gregorian, you there, buddy? Hey, what's up? Oh, man, another uh, another solid run, the 66. I was telling everybody for about the last season and a half, you've been pretty solid, and uh, you're really starting to rack up some podium finishes. 
Uh, yeah, we didn't kill ourselves this time here, going for a... going for a hole that wasn't there. I tend to do that here. Uh, I don't know, that track regression was weird. I was ripping the top in one and two and just get could into it in three and four. And everyone was running the bottom in three and four, so I tried going where they were and it just really wasn't anything there, but I can make it all up in one and two. Yeah, it looked uh, like guys... I'm sorry, I was going to say, it looked like guys were moving all over the place and... You know, some guys were finding grip in some of the weirdest spots. We saw Brandon Rogers launch off a two from the middle. Yeah, I'm, I don't like right at the end. Just the very top just kind of went away. I think it went away with all the yellows we had. Uh, someone was on my butt right at the end, so probably not a lap or two. I was probably going to get slid. Well, an awesome way to start off round number two here with this podium finish, man. Give me some shout-outs, some thank yous, and we'll let you head over to the second session. Uh, Shout-out to everyone with the B team. We got Reed back for the first race of the season. Uh, go and try to get another one here. All right, man. Congrats on a good run. Thanks for chatting with us. We'll look forward to seeing you in session number two. All right, thank you. David Gregorian finishing in the third spot, and now... We'll get him up here and uh, a little bridesmaid action for the driver of the 71 tonight. Man, I thought for a second he was going to have a shot. And then uh, kind of chaotically, things kind of closed up on him. But uh, Josh Gerlach, second place in uh, the first show tonight. Yeah, it, uh, I, I feel like I had a third place car there. And, um, you know, two guys that are really fast were, were trying to go for the win and got together. And I thought for a second I might have a chance to steal one there. But, um yeah, overall, I'm real happy getting a podium. You know, when you run a run runner up to someone like Brennan or Craig or, you know, half the field here, it feels like anymore. Um, that's definitely an accomplishment. Yeah, it seemed like uh, the track was starting to change quite a bit. Guys were having to find uh, grip in different lines. And, you know, one end was it looked like it was pretty good around the bottom. And the other end, I'm not sure where the grip was in three and four because everybody was moving all over. Uh, what were you seeing out there? That's exactly what I saw from my seat, too. Uh, Brent and I were just talking before it got pulled up here. and um, Yeah, I mean, it, it, you could really make your, your own speed wherever you you wanted to, um, as long as you were committed. And, you know, if you were going to run the bottom, you really would have to blow it up. And if you were, were up top or kind of through that middle line that I was doing, um, it, you just had to really commit to that, too. So um, I think in the next session, it uh, it's probably going to be a quite a bit more slick than we saw here, just kind of the way things are going to work out. So. Um, we're, we're really interested to see how that races. Well, he's three in a row, man. Who's going to uh, take the broom away from Mr. Rogers? Is it going to be driver 71? We're, I mean, we're trying for sure. Um, you know, when, when you've got as much speed as that 20 has, uh, I, I gave him crap last week. He's got uh, tops up here, but on the car, and he's running the bottom. I'm like, that should be illegal or something. But now Brennan's good. Craig's really good, too, and just kind of got unlucky there. I don't know if he hit the, the inside wall or not, but um, we're going to give it our all next race. That's for sure. It does seem a little, uh, I don't want to say hypocritical, but it does seem a little, you know, opposite day or something, I guess. Maybe we'll force him to run the top. Hey, yeah, tell him, if you're going to run that on the car, you got to run nothing but. Yeah, there you go. There's <laughs> a good idea. All right, man. Well, know, uh, well, congrats on a good run. A couple shout-outs real quick, and we'll get out of here. Yeah, I appreciate it, Roger. I just want to thank you for, uh, for you know, covering the show every week. Uh, Sim Rap Market for coming on and, and being the title sponsor of the Mighty Midget Series. Uh, go to netcodeesports.com if you're interested in joining. Uh, then netcode brand, netcodeshop.com, always race day, and Victory Fuel for uh, helping us out on the track. Appreciate it. All right, man. We'll look forward to seeing what you can do in session number two. Thank you, sir. Josh Gerlach finishing in that second spot. Now, you know what? we got to get a little different camera angle for this guy right here. There we go. That'll be a little bit better. Well, they can't get the broom out of his hands. Uh, he gets uh, a heck of a run out of turn two. Blast past Silby for the lead. And then a little dust up down in three and four coming uh, coming around here to one to go, man. Brennan Rogers, you went to the back and came to the front. Uh, it's going to take something special to get you stopped, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, that, that track was difficult to pass on. It, it, what was nice early is that it looked like a lot of the field was leaving the bottom. Um you know they weren't they were kind of just leaving it open so that made it easy to not easy but a little bit easier to get through a good chunk of the field and i knew once i got to about the top five they were going to be a bit sharper about what line they're running and, and a lot tougher um to get around and, and it was tough dude craig hit such a good bottom and that's just where the speed was so i was trying to make just one one and a half car widths above him work um 
Trick card me driving through the slick, and I don't know, man. I, I caused, uh, got into some people there and, and kind of made more contact than I'd normally like to, so I feel bad for that. And, and the deal with Craig, too, I, I got past him clean and then kind of whiffed the, I think it was turn three or, or whatever it was, and and uh, we kind of came together, so I feel bad for that. But, um, no, I mean, I, I lucked out once again. You know, that's that's what that's what it takes, though, to uh, to run from the back with these guys. you got to get a lot of luck, and, and hopefully the, the cards kind of run in your favor there. Well, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna kind of, I guess, give you a little call out here, man. You, you can't be running the tub and, and and be catfishing the bottom here, dude. You get one or the other. You can't advertise one thing and do another. It's contradictory. Yeah, I'm a I'm a walking contradiction, apparently. Um, hey, you know what? <laughs> You're definitely uh, a rolling you know, one. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, uh, tub is about running the top, but it's also about running the fast line and win races. So that's uh, that's what we're trying to do here and. Also, I, I got to give a big shout out to the NDE Sports guys, Wade and Noah, and all those guys. They, um, they, I mean, they support me more than anything. So, gotta, gotta thank them for everything they've done for me. And, and as usual, Roger, what you're doing, putting on the broadcast, and what Josh does, putting on the series. You know, it just, uh, it's what makes it possible. Well, it's awesome, man. Uh, congrats on three in a row. Is this going to be a double sweep now? Yeah, I think you got to stay know. hot, shoe, we'll, uh, don't you? I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna run up to first again randomly um no i i, I think uh, my luck might have worn out there um but the track will be a bit slicker and maybe we'll see different lines and you know no one says you can't get lucky twice i haven't asked josh in a while and we haven't had this situation while but he used to give uh bonus points if the guy volunteered to go to the back and came to the front i don't know might ask him about that yeah, I mean, I could just make that the running tradition and just wreck half the field getting to the front. Oh, well, uh, well, let's away, not but, get uh, there. You know, let's, not, mean, let's not do that. Be the show, but don't be that show, okay? Yeah, yeah. We'll, All we'll right, try. man. Well, appreciate you. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to chat with us. Thanks for all the shout-outs, and uh, we'll let you head for session number two, see what you can do, man. Sounds good. Thank you, brother. Brandon Rogers, three in a row for driver 20. We're going to see if he can go double sweep because he swept last week, and he is the only driver that can do it this week. So we'll see. Uh, two sweeps in a row. I don't know. Maybe that means you have to start a lap down. I'm not really sure what that means here. Let's take a quick look at our results. Rogers, Gerlach, Gregorian, one, two, three. Anelski, great run for Wayne. He comes home fourth. Garrett Boyd, nice run for uh, the 21 car. He finishes fifth. Yonke, after starting on the pole, comes home sixth. Craig Silby, seventh after late race incident. That just kind of really got him out of shape more than anything. Bo Brandon, 8th. Mike Gabbard, ninth. Don Runkle, 10th. Austin Motley, 11th. Brett Wagner, 12th. Josh Cox, 13th. And Reed Brochart way back there in the 14th spot. So session one is in the books here, folks. What we're going to do is we're going to let you look at our beautiful logo. And we are going to get ready to uh, flick some tunes out here. By the time you see a racing again, we'll be in session number two. We will be ready to get that kicked off. So sit back, enjoy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Wake up in the morning about 12 p.m. Too much Jack and too much Jim. My head's still pounding like a big bass drum. I reach no four and ask them, but they're already gone. Another crazy night. In this cowboy's life Cause I do what I wanna do What I please And all the bartenders let me drink for free Everybody knows my name And to me you know it's just a game Well I get on stage and give the fans my heart Singing every night in a local bar Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard It's a day in the life of a hillbilly rock star
folks we have made it in the session number two drivers ironing out the track gonna have about three or four minutes here in this session Now we'll get you. Our live scoring and timing did not initialize, so we'll do that right now. Here we go. Now it's working. Yeah, they're going to give them about three or four minutes here. And then they're going to get them uh, moving in to that qualifying session. And then Rockers again. Now we might be right. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Let's get ready for the session. They, they're they going to go whenever they are ready here. He said three to four minutes. So. Again, Brandon Rogers, quickest. Man, he, uh, man, he just come in here and. He is just uh, kind of showing the way. 
another level in this thing. Bo Brennan, David Krikorian, Greg Silby, Bobby Yonke. Twelve of our 14 drivers made the switch to session number two. So we lose two. Trying to figure out who we lost. But we're going to qualify. We will... Uh Get ready for the qualifiers. The top six lock in to the front three rows of the feature. Everybody else will race for their final starting spot in the LCQ. And then right on. And right into tonight's 35 lap second feature for the simrapmarket.com. Mighty midgets. And uh, I think Boyd got a little too close to the fence that time. I think he got a little too close to the fence both times. So no qualifying time for him. Wayne Anelski, 1597. Bo Brandon, 1559. Brent Rogers, 1541. So two tenths of a second quicker. Then even Bo Brandon in here. Uh, Craig Silby is on track. Josh Gerlag is out here trying to get a lap or two in before the session uh, times out. We'll watch him. Craig Silby. Silby's having problems, too, because uh, he's only fifth quick. I think he might be just about done with qualifying. 15.87. He's four-tenths of a second off of. Brennan Rogers. Here comes Gerlach for the second time. Fifth quick for Josh Gerlach. Silby moves to fourth quick, 1579. Barely picked up there. He picked up about four 100s. This time around, Gerlach moves up to fourth. Bump Silby down. Gerlach, 1569. So exactly a quarter second for him off of the pole. All 12 drivers have taken qualifying times. David Krikorian, second quick. So Rogers, Krikorian, Brandon, Gerlach, Silby, and Yonke locked in the other six. They are going to race for their final starting spots in the second feature, and we will get to that here momentarily. That is a 10-lap dash. And once they are done with that, we will get ready to move right on into the nightcap 35-lap feature. Appreciate everybody being in the chat, guys. Thank you. Uh, keep the chatter up. It's always fun to watch. Let us know who you're cheering for. Let's know where you're watching from. Sunday night, next show, 8 Eastern. Mars, Beards, Consin, Pavement, Late Models. Trying to think. I know where they're at, and I can't off the top of my head. Think. Oh, Nashville Fairgrounds. That's where they are. And then they will get ready to uh, wrap their season up with a couple of races. One at Knoxville in the dirt, and then one at the Milwaukee Mile to close things out at the end of the month. But well, the LCQ is on the grid, ready to push away Brochart and Wagner. Row one, Anelski and Gephardt, row two, Boyd and Motley, row three. All these drivers are going to transfer and go to the feature. This is just going to uh, determine where they're going to start from seventh place on back in that feature. Just had an earthquake. Wouldn't that be something? It's starting to become more and more frequent, which is kind of creepy. Green flag, green flag. All right, green flag coming out. It comes out at that orange pole back there, pretty near every time. And maybe to time it up perfect. He's going to get a good start. And Nelski will slide it through for a second. Now the battle side by side. Boyd and Wagner, and Boyd is maybe going to try to go two for one this lap. He got Wagner. Can he get uh, Nelski? Boy, that's close. I think he had him by a nose right there when they got to the line. 
And now Boyd going to surge through into second. We got a little dust up at the back. Motley got out of shape. He collected Wagner in it. Gephardt got a piece, but he got away. Now we'll go back here as Brochart out in front of the battle. Andelski and Boyd, and those two going at Andelski finding grip off the very bottom. Turn two, he's able to shoot out in front of Garrett Boyd. Wayne Andelski doing a good job. He's going to try to keep himself starting in that fourth row. Trying to run down Brophy, and he is getting there slowly but surely. If he keep doing what he's doing there, he's going to be able to get right up alongside, maybe out of turn number four here. And Wayne Anelski's looking to win the LCQ. He led that lap. Wayne Anelski. Getting some rhythm, getting out in front. Four laps to go this time by. Both starts still second. Boyd is third. Wagoner, Motley, Gephardt is taking his to the infield. We'll see him at the back of tonight's feature. And right now, Anelski hanging on out front. Three laps remaining. Last chance on the track. He'd like to start, uh, especially in that fourth row. It's a lot closer to the front behind the six quickest qualifiers, and he'll have the inside of that fourth row. He can hang on for two more laps. The battle's kind of starting to shape up for seconds. Brochard is hanging on in front of Boyd, but Boyd now has found the line that Anelski is running. Not the same line in three and four, and that's where he's losing his time. But he has got the one and two line kind of going like Anelski does. He cuts it down and uses that inside. There's a bunch of grip right there. And now Boyd moves into second on the white flag lap. So Anelski will win the LCQ. Boyd looks like he'll come home second. Brochart third. Wagner fourth. And then Motley and Gephardt five and six. So the field is set. We'll see what they get for warm-up time. I'm going to get a uh, message here. Two to three minutes is all they're going to give them. Let's try, uh, let's try to grab driver 49. Bo Brandon, Roger Wagner, DRN booth. You got a copy. How you doing, Roger? Man, I'm doing okay. Uh, you know, we're, we're watching the 49 car and... Uh, this is shades of last season, a little up, a little down, a little weird. Dude, you got to get the ship righted. What's going on over there in the 49 camp? Well, for starters, I'm, uh, I'm not feeling super great. I'm, I'm team great Dayquil tonight, so uh, hoping to just honestly finish the race. I'm not, uh, not been feeling the best today, so uh, still going to come out and compete, but I don't, I don't feel like myself, and... Uh, yeah, I didn't have a great run going on the uh, the last race, but uh, I also kind of got caught up in some stuff that uh, was unfortunate to catch up with too, So, well, let me let me give you a little help because I know you you probably meant to say it the other way, but you said Team Red Bull wrong. See, Red Bull gives you wings. Dayquil, well, I don't really give you a whole lot. Oh, it's giving me a lot right now. I'll tell you that, Roger. I, uh, I don't know if it's counting as performance-enhancing drugs or not, but it's uh, it's definitely what I need to uh, even feel decent right now. So uh, that's the beauty of uh, sim racing. You know, you can be sick and you can still come out here and run run a good race. It's a lot harder to do that when uh, when you're running a real car because uh, yeah, Copy nobody that. wants to do that. Yeah. Copy all that, man. Uh, I have gone the entire days where uh, Dayquil was all that kind of kept me feeling humid. So I understand where you're at, my brother. But we wanted to holler at you and see what uh, what you thought for session number two. Uh, I don't know what the outlook is uh, with you, uh, you know, not feeling well. But, man, we're going to wish you the best of luck and see if you can get that 49 car on the podium, all right? That'd be great. Thanks, Roger. All right, Bo Brandon, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, under the weather, Bo Brandon. So... We're going to give him a pass tonight on his up and down performance. It's not PEDs, but you know, the Dayquil can make you feel like a human being every once in a while. You're, uh, you're feeling low enough. So.
will we get to see a Sylvie and Rogers battle again? Because Brennan Rogers has proven to be the car to beat in the 2024 B season. And uh, I guess you know what they say. If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, the 20 car. Uh, that's the man to beat. So uh, just waiting for him to advance the session. I think that's about to happen. He said just a couple of minutes here. So. Get that one going. Get that feature started. There we go. Now we are ready to get the feature going. And it is Bobby Yonke and Greg Silby on the front row. Josh Gerlach and Bo Brandon in row number two. David Gregorian and Brandon Rogers via the six car invert. They will start in row three. Anelski and Boyd in row four coming out of that LCQ. And Brochard and Wagner also from the last chance qualifier. And Austin Motley and Mike Gilbert, both early retirees in that LCQ. They'll start on the back row of this 35 lap feature. 30 lap feature, excuse me, 30 lap feature. So, we're going to get ready to roll them off. Sylvie's going to have the catbird seat. He and Yonke are going to have to do a little uh, a little dance in here to figure out who's going to lead. And then we'll see how quickly Rogers can come from the outside of... Oh, not from the outside of the third row. He'll come from the outside of a row number six as he is going to go to the back again. Hot Shoe stays back there until he does not win the race. I was pretty sure that's how it goes. So we will uh, we will likely see, if he can pull off another win here, we'll likely see that again next week in uh, at least session one where Brandon Rogers has to go to the back. So that is the glory of being that good. If you're good enough to go to the back and still win. I, I know uh, DSRL, we used to pay a guy that uh, Hot Shoe went to the back. If he could come win the race, we paid him cash. The first time. None after that. Some of those guys were good enough they could go back there and win every single time. So, All right. Base truck's out of the way. 30 laps are on the big board. It is time to go green. Lincoln Speedway. SimRapMarket.com. Mighty Midgets. Session number two. And Bobby Yonke. From the pole quickly to the lead. Three wide for second. Krikorian. Caught a little Gerlach, caught a little fence. It didn't slow Gerlach down one bit. He rocketed past Sylvie. Here comes Bo Brandon on the top side. He was trying to make that a three wide. Just didn't quite get it there. And Gerlach's got the bottom on lock. Now Sylvie's trying to find a different line. It's going to open up the door. Brandon's going by. Krikorian trying to go by. And Brandon might try to go two for one here. And he's got it. He got both Sylvie and Gerlach. No short order there. As he goes and takes second, Sylvie finds the bottom, gets around Gerlach, moved Gerlach to fourth. Side by side between a Krikorian and Anelski. Nelski's on the inside. Krikorian up high. Brandon Rogers trapped behind that two wide battle. So Rogers from 12th to 7th. Might be 12th to 6th, depending on where he's at right here. I think he's going to stay 7th. Maybe not. He's going to go sixth. He almost went fifth. And he dang near went to fourth. Wow. What a move. Brennan Rogers now is going to try to get the fourth. He goes around Gerlach. Whoa, Sylvie out of shape. There's, there's bad news. Let's go see what happened to Craig. He's up here trying to go. Brandon was going for the lead, and Sylvie was trying to go through with him. And again, Sylvie got real low. He saw the car to the outside get a little out of shape. And when he lifted just that much, he hooked that fence and spun himself around, and uh, Brandon Rogers got a piece of him as well. So. Spread it out, both Rogers and Sylvie look like they are going to the back. So this might be interesting. See if those two can roll it back to the front. Remember, Rogers is going for four in a row and sweeps back to back. 
Everybody else trying to break that string. Yonke, Brandon, Gerlach, Krikorian, and Nelski, the top five are right now. 25 laps still to go. Oh, Brandon wasting no time. He is jumping right on Bobby Yonke. He is going to go for the lead out of two. And he is going to have it down the back stretch into three and four. Can he lock the bottom down? Get the run out. New leader. Car 49, Bo Brandon. Gerlach's got third. And now it's Krikorin and Anelski again side by side. Right outside the top three. Off the top side, Krikorian able to get a car, car and a half on Anelski. Brett Wagner with a better run here. Oh, I say that right as he gets turned around by Gephardt. I just think that was uh, two guys trying to go for the same piece of real estate more than anything. Yeah, it looked like Wagner was just a little off pace right there. And Gephardt got in there fairly hot and got him turned around. So Austin Motley has already taken the 37 car to the infield. So problems for him. Early retiree. But now it's Brandon Yonke, Gerlach, Krikorian, and Nelski. Brochart, well, Gephardt back into seventh. Sylvie behind that, and then Boyd, Rogers, and Wagoner. Quick caution, single foul on the restart. Bo Brandon. Going to see if he can break into the W column in season B of 2024. Good restart. He's going to get about eight car lengths getting into one and two. We'll go back there around David Kikorian. This is where everything starts to heat up. Brandon Rogers is locking in on the bottom. He's already up to the ninth spot. Restart at 11th on the last restart before this one. It's only lasted about a lap and a half. Gephardt and Rogers are going at it. Gephardt going to end up the short end of that thing as he got pushed out to the middle where it's a little slicker. Oh, Brennan Rogers, big slider. He and Sylvie get together. Everybody able to keep going. Might be a couple of words there at the end. But Rogers up to the sixth spot. Gerlach and Yonke are going at it for second and third. This all almost a second and a half behind Bo Brandon. We're coming around to 18 to go. A couple laps shy of halfway. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. All in a little group right here. And Yonke, man, he keeps getting a launch right through there, but he can't get that exit line. Not able to use it. Rogers now is going to go around Anelski, move him to fifth. Two seconds out in front for Bo Brandon. Gerlach. Then Yonke. Now Rogers up to fourth as he gets around Krikorian. He's going to go for another one. Got to the inside of Yonke. He's going to try to get to the inside of Gerlach here, and he's got the inside, has the launch. Move him to second. Two and a half seconds. 2.3 officially at the line. Two tenths of a second quicker. It is just a matter of time before he gets there because right now, Brandon, 16.40 the last lap. Let's see where they're at this time. 16.26. 16.20, so more on equal footing. We crossed over halfway last time, down to 13 to go this time by. A 40 to an 04. So Brendan Rodgers. Four tenths of a second last time. He is just carving away. At the lead. 16-13 to a 16-47. Nobody in that 
36 is the closest lap time. That was Josh Gerlach back here in third. Gregorian still fourth. Yonke's fifth. Andelski sixth. Brochart seventh. Sylvia's eighth. Wagner and Geppard behind that. Garrett Boyd has taken his car to the infield. He has damage, and he will not return to this one. So it's 1.6 seconds with 10 laps to go. And only a tenth and a half faster the last time for Rogers. Bo Brandon. Looks like he's running a very smooth line. Car's not dancing and wiggling everywhere. 33 and a 36 for your front two. A 33 and a 12, excuse me. So two tenths of a second again. He may get here. Getting here and getting by might be a couple of different things. The launch is coming out of two. Rogers just found a perfect line, a perfect angle to get down, gets the launch, and he just closes the gap right there. Seven to go. It's still one and a half seconds. Is Bo Brennan the driver to break the sweep string? Three in a row and no more. Brandon out of four here, a little wheel stand. 34 to 39, so Bo Brandon a little quicker that time. David Kaporian working on Josh Gerlach for third final podium spot, and Gerlach cuts right back under crossover maneuver, and he takes it spot, the spot back as we come to the wave lap. Five to go, showing to the driver, still 1.44 seconds. Wow, that's easy for me to say. First to second, it's another two seconds, three seconds. Back to the battle for third. Now the gap closing a little bit. It's under a second. Laps ticking away. Brandon really getting out of kilter there. Maybe running out of steam tonight. Three to go and it's not quite a second. Six tenths down the back stretch. Rogers is eating them up in one and two. Two laps, popsicle sticks, this time around seven tenths of a second at the line. Rogers is coming. Does he have enough real estate to get there? Will he make the wild maneuver to close it up? He's down to a half a second, white flag in the air. Bo Brandon needs to hang on for four. More corners, and Rogers had a run. I thought he was going to try to open that bottom up, but it looks like the string might be over. Bo Brandon breaks the win streak for Brendan Rogers, picks up the win in session number two here at Lincoln. Rogers is second. Krikorian gets around Gerlach, and he'll have two podium finishes tonight. Gerlach fourth, and Yonke in the fifth spot. All right, he parked it there just a few minutes ago. Uh, we talked to him sitting in exactly the same spot. David Krikorian, two podium finishes tonight. Man, uh, that's got to be a pretty solid feeling. Yeah, very, uh, very good points today. And I think this is probably my best consecutive streak for podiums. So we're, uh, yeah, we're off to a good start right now. Yeah, it looked like this track was uh, quite a bit different than the first track. Yeah, it, we all kind of commented, it's like, it didn't really look like it's slicker than the start of the feature for the last session. It, it took a lot longer to kind of get a second groove in. Um, one and two kind of happened about the same, where I could go to the top. It took probably until maybe about halfway through. The bottom, actually, I think, went away more right at the end of the race, because I went... I started losing Josh like right at the end, and I thought I may have just burned my right rear, and I went to the middle and caught right back up to him. <laughs> kind of threw a Hail Mary on the last lap there, and it stuck. Well, an awesome job of two third places tonight, man. Give me some uh, shout-outs, some thank-yous, and we'll let you go celebrate a good night of racing. Uh, 
shout out to all the homies and sponsors on the B team. Shout out to Simrad Market for sponsoring the series this season. Yeah, four podiums in a row. We'll try to keep the streak going. All right, man. Awesome night, man. We'll look forward to seeing you back next week, buddy. David Krikorian, two third place finishes tonight. And the streak has ended. Three in a row, but he could not get the fourth. Just a little bit too much uh, distance to make up with not quite enough laps. Brandon Rogers, second place in the second show, man. A uh, little different than talking to you yeah. on the top step. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, I, I feel like if I didn't get caught up in, in a lot of stuff early there, it, it probably could have gone a little different. I think I caught Bo at a good pace, and I think I might have had a chance to get around him there. Um, I saw a couple openings if I could just get to him a few laps earlier. I really needed I, I, all the yellows I needed. Uh, I was either involved in, got caught up, and broke my car up a bit. Uh, and by the time I needed a yellow, nothing came out for me. So um, kind of dug myself out of a deficit. I think I was about two seconds back from Bo for a minute there, starting at halfway. And, you know, my car was kind of steering crooked down the straightaways there. Um, so I knew I just had to walk bottom and, and try to hit my marks and hope that Bo made a mistake, which he just doesn't really make mistakes. Um, so I knew when he was leading, I was like, yeah, I think my, my chances here are dashed. But it's a shame. I think if I had one more lap, I could have uh, done something. I got to his rear bumper uh, at the flag there, but, um, you know, just didn't work out and can't congratulate him enough on, on pulling that one through. And, you know, as usual, man, thanking you for what you do and Josh and all the guys over at um, Indy Sports for supporting me and, you know, we'll try again. We'll try to restart the uh, try to restart the the run. Yeah, it looked like uh, you know, looked like things kind of just didn't fall your way when you needed them to. But an awesome w way to start the season, man. You're going to have a commanding points lead uh, going into next week. So we appreciate all the shout outs and the thank yous, man. You make us ask for them. Uh, congratulations on a great night of racing, and I look forward to seeing you back here again next week. Appreciate you, man. I'll see you next week. Brandon Rogers, a first and a second tonight. Pretty good at night of racing for him. And now we're going to talk to the man who broke the string three in a row. And uh, Bo Brandon, we talked to him between the races. He comes in, gets out in front, and, uh, man, he got challenged on the last lap coming out of turn four, but it uh, looked like you had that thing uh, pretty much under control. Well, I definitely needed every bit of that big lead that I had built because, uh, man, halfway through I saw – that 20 car that bad man he was bad he was back there and he's so good he's so fast it's uh he's he's really just at another level above pretty much everybody else here and it's you know he he's he drove a heck of a race i don't i don't know what his race looked like uh but i know he came from the back and to come that far up and i mean one more lap he probably would have had me so uh i definitely needed all of the the green flag laps i did, definitely needed that uh, two second lead or whatever I had built up because he uh, he was running me down fast. Well, will it make you feel better to know that he came from the back twice to get that close on the last lap? That actually makes me feel worse. <laughs> okay. Well, every caution that, in this feature, so uh, Rogers was part of every caution. He ended up at the back multiple times and had you know. You had two and a half or 2.7 seconds when he finally cleared into second with about 13 to go. It took him, you know, all that time to get, and he only got to tap the push bar on the back of the car coming out of four, coming to the check. So uh, you drove a heck of a race, man. Uh, you broke the string for him. Is this going to get a string started for the 49 car? If he keeps showing up, probably not. He's one tough cookie. Uh, you know, I um, hats off to him. He's, he's just really good. He's very fast, and... Um, you know, the, the streak is well-deserved. Uh, I did not think I was going to be the guy to break it tonight. Um, just like I said before that race, just not feeling super great, but um, happy to get it done. Really happy with that second race. It was uh, the bottom was just hooked up, which is what I really like, especially at this track. I, I love running the bottom here. And, um, yeah, it was I was just able to keep the momentum, keep it going, and keep it off the wall, not, uh, not make a – ton of big mistakes i made a few little mistakes but um i had some buffer to give i guess not much more but just enough well you know maybe we need to get you a new sponsor on there maybe we need to get you a dayquil sponsor on the car and then every week you just pop a couple before we go racing yeah i might need a dayquil sponsor that's a that's a good <laughs> idea performance enhancement right there uh you know i there's nothing in the rule book about it so uh it's legal in my mind my mind so um, I, I have no idea yeah. how they would be 
PEDs, but hey, man, you know what? If, if it's helping you, that's all that matters, man. Give me some shout-outs, some thank yous, and we will let you celebrate not only a great victory tonight, but breaking the string of that other guy. Yeah, well, uh, that hats off to uh, Varix.com for all your e-commerce needs. Uh, mighty good marketing. Uh, you, Roger, for broadcasting, making us look good on the YouTubes and the uh, Facebooks and the Twitches and uh josh and robert for putting on a great league it's always a good show uh, a lot of fun um my parents for watching and uh my awesome wife all right man congrats on the win we'll look forward to seeing you back next week see if you can uh, keep this thing going buddy thanks roger bo brandon picking up the win in session number two broke the string there of uh brandon rogers so we'll see if that gets uh, going again next week but uh, maybe bo Takes off on his own string here. So, Brandon Rogers, Gregorian, one, two, three. Gerlach, four. Yonke, fifth. Anoski in the sixth spot. Brochart, seventh. Sylvie, eighth. Wagoner, ninth. Gebert, tenth. Boyd, eleventh. And Motley rounding things out. That's going to do it for us tonight here for SimRentMarket.com Mighty Midget Series. Join us Sunday night, 8 o'clock Eastern, for the Mars guys and their pavement late models. Appreciate everybody being here. Without you guys, there's no reason for us to do all this without all the fantastic leagues giving us great racing. There's nothing for us to cover. Till we see.